With WandaVision being wonderfully vague, there is a lot left for interpretation. While we're still unsure who the antagonist is in the series, rumors continue to swirl. We now know that S.W.O.R.D. has some involvement in the show, but is there a primary Marvel villain yet to be seen in the MCU, hidden in plain sight? The devil is in the details, so let's look behind the curtain and dive deep into the seven realms of WandaVision to who could be the show's real antagonist. The villain we are referring to is Mephisto. The demon Mephisto, sometimes known as Mephistopheles and even Satan, is one of the biggest and most powerful villains in the Marvel catalog. He has the power to shapeshift, superhuman strength, the ability to alter time, create illusions, and manipulate people's memories, with those last few being the perfect combination to make you feel like you're living in an old-fashioned sitcom. But the most relevant fact about him is that he takes an interest in some of the most powerful characters in the Marvel Universe, namely Scarlet Witch. In the comics, Mephisto's deviousness basically ruined Wanda's life and drove her to all-out madness. Probably in the same way as the show, Wanda used her magic to have children, but unwittingly used fragments of Mephisto's soul to make it happen. Like the show, she gave birth to two twin boys, Tommy and Billy, but in true demon fashion, Mephisto reabsorbed the children, adding even more emotional trauma onto Wanda. Seriously, she's been through a lot. The scene where she remembered her brother in WandaVision was heartbreaking. After the death of Thanos, there is a villain void in the MCU, and WandaVision could be the platform to set up Mephisto as the primary villain for Phase 4, before the likes of Kang the Conqueror and Doctor Doom potentially make their on-screen debuts. As we mentioned, Mephisto is a force to be reckoned with, and more than equipped to take up the main antagonist mantle. If the comics are anything to go on, Mephisto has the ability to change the MCU forever, and with there being hints to his involvement in both WandaVision and even the Loki trailer, we might be seeing the big demon on screen pretty soon. As we said, these aren't just baseless claims on our part, and the proof is in the pudding. Or should I say, the devil is in the details. They are subtly referencing Mephisto is basically what I'm trying to say. In the scene where Wanda attends the fundraiser meeting, Dottie, who is the worst, verbally attacks one of the other members over her negligence, saying, The devil's in the details, Bev. Wanda's neighbor, Agnes, who is very unlikely just to be her neighbor, more on that later, comes back with the quick-witted retort, that's not the only place he is. Now, as they're in the sitcom setting, that's played as a joke, but this is Marvel, and you have to assume that there's a hidden meaning behind, uh, well, everything. So, taking this line on face value, where exactly is the devil then? Could it be Agnes's husband, Ralph, who she constantly mentions, but we haven't seen on screen yet? Potentially, Agnes herself is probably the witch Agatha Harkness, which has led some to believe that Westview is actually a prison for witches, and therefore could have a direct link to Mephisto. Another potential reference to Mephisto, although we may be looking way too much into this one, is the gum that Vision accidentally swallows, and then it gets clogged into his system, causing him to malfunction. The gum itself is called Big Red Gum, just like a certain demon. Could that have been an analogy? We like to think so. The biggest clue is likely the children themselves, as so far, that storyline is playing out just like the comics. As we said earlier, the children were created from a part of Mephisto, and therefore, it could be a matter of time before they are devoured by the demon. But where, or should I say who, is Mephisto right now? Seeing as he is a shapeshifter, he's probably hiding in plain sight. Other than Ralph, the most likely candidate is Dottie. See? I told you she's the worst. Dottie is the supreme leader of Westview and runs it with her beady eye, and according to Agnes, is someone you want to impress. Dottie also overheard the radio message that broke the sitcom world and caused her to crush a glass in her hand, hinting that Dottie probably knows more than she's letting on. If Dottie actually is Mephisto, though, we will just have to wait and see. But there is a reason to believe that Mephisto isn't just the villain for WandaVision, but the MCU at large. During the Loki trailer, we see a church setting which featured a large stained glass window with a red demon on it, just like Mephisto, potentially suggesting that he may also be the villain in that show. 
it is possible then that WandaVision could be setting up a number of large storylines to happen across Phase 4 and might be the reason that Marvel were so desperate to release it first. Mephisto could link or even cause Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, which is highly plausible seeing as Mephisto and Strange have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe on several occasions. Also, it's being theorized that Strange is the man in the beekeeper suit, and we already know for a fact that Wanda will appear in the Doctor Strange sequel, suggesting that there will be a link between that movie and WandaVision. Whether Wanda will be there to help fight Mephisto, or actually end up being the movie's villain due to Mephisto's deviance is unclear, but either are plausible. Either way, Mephisto and WandaVision could directly influence Phase 4 because of it, and as Mephisto has links to Ghost Rider, Silver Surfer, and Doctor Doom, he could potentially build a platform to bring in those characters. Please bring in Doctor Doom.